Hey, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. I am so excited to be on today with this beautiful lady who I'm going to introduce you to in just a second. Um, my name is Wendy McGee, and I am the Director of Client Relations here at the amazing Mailbox Power. And I have the opportunity today to talk to and interview the beautiful Erica Vassell. I have just got to meet her two seconds ago, and I am so excited to introduce you to her. And she was telling me a little bit about herself, and you guys are going to love this. Like, I am so excited. She is the queen of non-pushy sales. Like, everyone doesn't need a best friend who... <laughs> literally is the queen of non-pushy sales. So she's going to tell us more about that. And she also is the creator of The Blessing Method. And I am so excited to learn more about that. So Erica, thank you so much for being on with me today and letting us share you and your story with the Mailbox Power audience. Oh, I'm so excited to be here and to get to know you better as well. So thank you. Oh, you're awesome. You're mm -hmm. awesome. Well, tell us a little bit about you. Give me Give me Erica Vassell and your history. Tell us, you know, a little bit about who you are, what you do, what drives you. Just let us in on, on who you are. Sure. So I'm a mama of two. My baby just turned 18 and I have a 10 year old. I am newly single. So it's, this is a new chapter of my life. <laughs> I, I love it. So if anyone knows anyone who's single, I'm just saying. Okay, so anyway, <laughs> um, like, can we get match.com to come up here on the, yeah. Oh, okay. hey. <laughs> Okay, awesome. Yeah. I've been an entrepreneur forever. So I had a jewelry business when I was 14. I had a salon when I was 19. I had a restaurant when I was 21. And then I thought, oh, you know what? It's probably a lot of work being an entrepreneur. So I'll just go work <laughs> for someone else. Well, I sold cars and I got fired because it was all men and they got mad that I sold way too many cars. You can't fire people for that nowadays, right? So I got fired. And then I went to work um, in a corporate job. My job was to go around to weight loss, um, retail service centers and figure out and, you know, increase their revenue. And I did that, quadrupled it in two weeks time. Oh my gosh. But then I got fired <laughs> because I got- You I got, are an entrepreneur. <laughs> you're not supposed to work for other people, no, right? No. <laughs> so I got fired because I had vertigo. That's like when you're dizzy. And then it turns out I actually had MS, multiple sclerosis. So that's oh what the problem was. Yeah. Hey, hey, yes. Yeah, so that was that. So then I was like, you know, I'm not going to work for anyone else. I'm going to go into direct sales. So this was almost 21 years ago. So I went to the top um, in a beauty industry. And then I'm also, I'm still in that one. I have another direct sales company. So I just love everything about serving others, problem solving, not being pushy. Like if I have something that can make you feel better, look better, whatever, I want to share. And I love to share my friends' links and their businesses. So that's what drives me is serving others and helping others to succeed. That's truly it. Plus I love chocolate. So those are like, and shopping. So three things. <laughs> and God, of course, that was number one. All right. Sorry. I didn't have it in order. <laughs> I love you already. Like everything you said, I was like, oh my gosh, this girl, we need to be best friends. Yes. So I love it. I love it. And I love that you were in direct sales. I didn't know that prior to this interview, which makes me so excited because I was also a direct sales girl for almost 18 years, kind of still am. I mean, I'm still involved in one, you know, direct sales company, but I loved it for the same reasons. Um, I love that you literally were unemployable. Like you're just so <laughs> people are like, okay, you're like, I cannot work for you. I must work for myself. And that is so awesome. So tell me a little bit about like, as you've, you know, as an entrepreneur and all of these things that you've, you've done, Tell me about um, becoming the creator of the blessing method. What what is that? Because we indicated that in the beginning. Sure. So the blessing method is five steps. So you attract people who are actually interested in your product or service. Okay. So you're gonna attract them to you. You pre-qualify them. That's sales 101. I do that through surveys, strategic surveys. Okay. Based on psychology and marketing. So you attract them. You weed out those who are not interested. You present effectively in like 15 minutes. The money changes hands, close the sale, you gain okay. referrals, team members. And then the five step, the fifth step is actually mailbox power. It's retain them on automation. So, Love it. Oh my yes. gosh. So perfect, perfect entry into tell us how you use mailbox power. Tell us, you know, we've been with mailbox power for a while. Yes. You're one of our users. You like 
totally understand the power of direct mail and what this platform can do. Share with everyone how you use it and how you, okay. you know, have integrated it. Yes. Sure. Yes. So let me just back up for a second. So I was virtual before it was the cool thing to do. So I've been virtual like 12 years. Okay. So I have to bring that up because when the pandemic happened, people thought they can just show up online and they're just going to build a business, but they forgot about the layering, you know, text, email, mail. So um, it's very important yeah. if you're watching this and you're like, oh, I got this, I go on video. <laughs> no, <laughs> you got to add the mail part, okay? Um, so I, I I get distracted easily. I've got attention deficit disorder. I'm a mom, I'm busy. I was caring for my own mother and I would buy these postcards and cards and I have a cabinet over here and they would sit in there or they'd sit in the bottom of my purse, right? <laughs> so the birthday, I had, I, had good all these... I have good intentions. Yes, They're here. Yes, yes. So I had a birthday program. Okay. So it was email and text okay. reminders. Okay. But um, when my friend introduced me to mailbox, she's like, just put your birthdays on there. And I'm like, well, I already do this. She's like, try it. And I did. And I was very strategic about um, my birthday cards and my half birthday. So I used mailbox power originally just for my birthdays. And let me tell you, Wait, hold on to your seat, Wendy. You got to hold on. Grip tight. <laughs> Holding okay. on. Holding so I, on. Okay, good, okay, good. I track everything. You know, I'm a sales strategist too, so I track everything. I increased my sales by 50 percent in my direct sales company by simply adding mailbox power with the birthday. So the consistency along with my email and my text. I mean, I was sold on it. Then I had to tell everyone, and of course, it's incorporated into my blessing method. Then I added as onboarding and everything else. So I'm just in love. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Erica, I'm so happy that you talked about birthdays because I hear this so, so much. And I feel like what you said, what, what the, the, the advice of the friend that shared mailbox power with you and said, just try incorporating birthdays. Like literally that one thing will <laughs> like explode. It increased your business by 50% yes. in direct sales. Like yes. people just want to, like you show up in their mailbox, you remembered them. They feel like, oh my gosh, Erica, like remembered my birthday. No one remembered my birthday. This was like yes. the only Carter gift maybe that they even got. Mm -hmm. I hear that all the time. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then I can tell you as a business owner too, in addition to mailbox power, I'm also an entrepreneur. So I send birthdays to all of my clients, right? Yes. I love it. I get every time a birthday package comes, what do you get, Erica? What do you get? Tell me. Tell me what you get. When, when, I, they, re, when they receive it, you mean? When they receive it. Okay. In general, what no, do you because get? I, I have a strategy. So they follow the steps in the card and then they text me and they tell me that they received it or they post it on social media and they tag me, you know? So I... I do want to, I want to say one thing though, because I tracked everything and what was a little different. So if somebody's watching and they're like, well, I did the birthdays and, and I didn't get instant results. Let me tell you the, the numbers. Okay. So okay. four to seven or eight weeks after their actual birthday is when my sales came in. And the reason I believe that is because the person has the card up on their desk. They have it on their mantle. They have it on their fridge, okay? And they, they knew they got it. They were excited. But four to seven, eight weeks later, they're actually going to take it down. And then they look at it a second time, and that's boom, when um, they followed the steps that were in there. And, you know, I got I, the, the sales increase. So I just want to tell people there's a strategy behind it, and there's numbers, and they're proven. <laughs> Oh, I love it. Okay. You have to tell us, if you don't mind, what do you put in the card? What are the steps that you have them follow okay. when they get your birthday card? Okay, okay sure. I'm so dying. You know, I'm like, I'm okay, you're dying. Okay. <laughs> so, you know, I do everything with a survey, okay? And no branding. Your card cannot be branded to your business. This must legitimately be a, I love you, it's your birthday card, okay? So, yeah. it's Yes, yeah, so very important. So number one is that. So it's got their first name on the on the cup on the front of the card. It's got their first name in the inside. So for mine, it has a, a QR code, and it is a claim form for legitimate birthday goodies, not a sale. Okay. So here, remember, I said I increased my sales by fifty percent, but I wasn't selling anything. They were just gonna claim <laughs> their birthday goodies. So that's in there, and then it says, "P.S. Text me at blah blah blah." when you receive this, because I want to make sure I have the right address, right? Because I'm giving them yes. a gift. Mm -hmm. right. So no branding. Yes. No branding on the back, no website, nothing. It looks like 
I did this card, right? So that's that one. Now the half birthday does not say text me when you receive it. It does not have a QR code. It's just cutesy. It's, you know, half birthday. <laughs> you know? Just showing up to remind you that it is your half birthday. Yes. yes. Right. Yes. Yes. And, but I do want to say though, that a lot of people in the beginning will say to me, oh, well, I, I handwrite it. Everyone wants a handwritten card. And this is what I want to say. Mine used to be handwritten. And think about the time it takes. But let me tell you, the power of Mailbox Power ha, is because um, people would text me and say, did you make this for me? They think that I printed this. I went to a print shop and I designed a card just for them. So it's even more powerful than the handwritten card. So that's it blew my mind. It I love that. Well, and a lot of people don't know, and if you're watching this, Mailbox Power doesn't, we don't put Mailbox Power all over your stuff. So people think that you literally did it. I, I've heard that several times too, that they think that you went and printed the stickers, you bought the caramels, you did the little sweetable yes. thing, you put a label on the top, you made the card because Mailbox Power is nowhere to be found. And yes. on your return address, the return address is your home, your yes. name, you, and we do all the work. We ship it, we package it, we get it all ready to go out the door, everything. In fact, um, so my um, daughter, so my my in-law, my daughter's mother-in-law just received her birthday package from me. And she sent me this huge text and she's like, with everything you have going on, I don't know who you had time to like put a package together for me. Like it was so nice. And I just was, you know, I, yes, I love you. And I wanted to remember your birthday, but in my mind, I'm thinking, oh man, it's her birthday. <laughs> I, that's the other thing. Yes. Because people text me and I'm like, is it? So I have a clipboard with a printout with their names because I have no idea. That's the thing. Don't respond to those texts either. One more word of advice. I can't help myself with the sales. But if they text you and say, I received the birthday card, thank you. And you just say, you're welcome. That ends it. So yep. you want to take it a step further. Did you do anything for a birthday? Hey, we haven't chatted in a while. Let's get together. Like take it a step further. <laughs> That is such good advice because everything opens another door for more conversations for you to continue that relationship, to nurture that relationship. Um, not asking for anything right then, yeah. not asking for anything, right? You're just Don't like, you do that. Wait a minute. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Don't Wait. you ask for a sale. <laughs> when they a sale birthday on the birthday card. That is very bad, bad. Do not do that. <laughs> well, I, okay. I love ever like, this is so amazing. And birthday marketing, I think is something that we do better than any other company out there. And that so many companies, when they hear about mailbox power, that they wonder where to start. And one of our core automations that we teach is birthday marketing. So Erica, you are helping so much in explaining why that's so powerful. Um, I love it. So I want to ask you, you've been using Mailbox Power for a few years now. You are, like I said, one of our top users, a power user. You know the system. You know how it works. Tell me one of your favorite um, stories from using Mailbox Power. What's something that stands out to you? A new client, a friend, something that happened in your business, maybe that you could share with us. Okay, sure. Oh my gosh, there's so many. Uh, well, this one, this one was this one was quite sweet. Okay, so I mailed apparently uh, the birthday card to one to one of my clients, and um, she had been going through a hard time, which I didn't even realize about it. But she sent me a thank you card for the birthday card <laughs> in the mail. Oh, okay, she was so cool. She was so thankful. And then when the half birthday came out, she sent me another thank you card. She said, and the same thing, Erica, you're so busy. How do you do this? And then I, of course, I use Mailbox Power personally. So all my Christmas cards went out. So then I got another thank you card. She can't believe how much I care about her. And I was like, wow. So then, of course, I'm like, well, let's get together, you know, come over for some coffee or something. But the, she sent me a card to thank me for the card. That is how powerful. I mean, she hand wrote the card. She went to the yeah. mailbox. She mailed it to thank yeah. me. That's powerful, right? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Because think about the last time you thanked someone for sending you an email or a text, <laughs> right? Yeah. Like, I'm sorry. I give Netflix my money every month. They don't ever send me any kind of thank you. I, how many other things do you like? Literally, you're giving them your money every month and all you're getting is a receipt in your email saying, hey, thanks for your money. Like, it's fine. 
I, I literally, I love direct mail so much. And until I came to Mailbox Power just a little over a year ago, I wasn't using it in my personal business as an entrepreneur. I wasn't using it. I wasn't using direct mail as a marketing method at all. And it took me a minute to get it. Like I literally started talking to clients and, you know, affiliates with Mailbox Power and hearing how their businesses were growing and changing and they were he, their client retention was insane yes. because people feel like, so there's a saying I love and it's the universe loves effort. And I love effort. Like I think as an, as a fellow entrepreneur and just a human, when someone does something extra, you know, I want to support them forever. If yes. my, you know, my lash artist or my, you know, someone that I go to for some service or someone I work with in direct sales or business reaches out and sends me a gift or a card or something else, I literally am like, okay, that is a person who values relationships. That's my kind of person. I feel like connected to them in the fact that I'm like, okay, that person took extra time, whether it was setting it up through a platform like Mailbox Power, you still create your card or choose from our fantastic design catalog. You still enter your contacts in. Mm -hmm. All of it's so easy to do and you still set up the automation. So, yes. and you want to invest in your client. That's an additional, oh, yes. you know, I'm taking some of my revenue as a business owner and I'm reinvesting it into a gift that costs me five or $10, maybe $20 every time it goes out. Maybe it's just a card that costs me a few dollars because I'm just paying postage because with Mailbox Power are postcards and, and you get a lot of greeting cards, 50 with, oh, yeah. 200 with, you know, executive that you can use for free. But I put that thought into it and I love that effort. And I, I mean, I am not surprised one bit, Erica, meeting you that you use this system and love it. And that has been so successful for you because it matches who you are. You are, I can tell just like a light to everyone that you meet, you come into the room, you probably just you know, explode the room with your amazing sunshine and your smile. And your you sense to me, my head is not going to fit up the stairs. <laughs> it's so true. Like I can just see why you've been so successful in direct sales. Like I would want to join your team immediately. I would be like, okay, Erica is so cool and so fun. I want to be on her team, but just building and nurturing people. And, 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 and I love, this is my personal thing that I love. I love knowing that someone's going to go to the mailbox. They're going to open it. And they are going to smile and feel like, you know what? Wendy cares about me. She yes. reached out to me. Mm -hmm. I want people to feel that way. Mm -hmm. And I mm -hmm. and I know that that is what we're doing here. So, mm -hmm. so Erica, this has been so fun. It's gone way too fast. But just before we go, is there anything else that you would like to share that you feel like would be awesome for, you know, if I'm someone watching this and I've never used Mailbox Power, but I'm interested, or if I am a current user, maybe some advice that you can give them or just any, any final thoughts you'd like to share. So, you know, it's more than just the birthday cards. So some people think it's just birthdays. For me, it's, it's where I shop because how many, how much can you buy from Amazon, right? So I do prizes for my team and then um, I have a Facebook group. People can join and do prizes and I send them through mailbox. Like I'll send a gift card or you don't want to see my mug, right? But <laughs> my mug. You know what I mean? Yes. <laughs> Oh, hit myself with that, but like this is a blessing method mug. Sorry. Um, so oh, we do beautiful. Yes. all these things, you know. So I send, I make teachers' gifts, I make all these things. I use mailbox for everything. If someone's pet dies, I'm creating a card with their picture. Like it's just my go-to place instead of just Amazon or Flowers or a Starbucks card. I just use it for everything. So a lot of people don't realize that. They just think of birthdays. No, no, no. This is your go-to birthday cards for my daughter. Thank you cards. You know, everything comes through Everything. mailbox. Well, <laughs> it's so we're, easy. We're always expanding our gift line. Like right now we're starting to expand more into more luxury gifts. Um, we are always expanding into... One of the things I think so fun about us is you can personalize and customize almost anything in our catalog. So if you want to send a mug that is beautiful, if you want it, yes, if you want to laser engrave some beautiful. Someone posters, send me this. It's a fun, it. fun friend. <laughs> so cute, right? Like so many fun things that we can, you can customize. And then what I found is, you know, if I receive, for example, we do these fun tumblers. We're just bringing these in, right? And different colors. This is going to be a new product for us. I and I get that and it has my logo or my name or just a, you know, maybe it has a quote on it. And 
I don't know, whatever. I'm never going to throw that away. Like I'm going to use that. And every time I use it, I'm going to think about the person that sent it to me and be like, that was so thoughtful. I love this mug. Like I, I just love everything about mailbox power. Like the the whole idea of, you know, card sending and business gifting is just, you know, right up our alley. Right. Erica. It is. is, It is. And the fact that there's and the fact that there's no meter mark, you know, is that what it's called on the envelope? Yeah. To me, yep. that is amazing because they don't know that you did not mail it. And that was key because for me, everything must look like I did it with my blessing method. I want to be a blessing to others. And so I love that. To me, that's the biggest thing is that there's no meter mark. <laughs> meter mark. I love that because that is really true. That is that extra personal touch that Mailbox Power gives by giving you all the credit for doing that thoughtful thing, giving you all the credit. So Erica, thank you so much for joining me today. You're so delightful. This was so fun to talk to you. And um, I really appreciate your time and sharing. You've you've given lots of great business advice, lots of great suggestions for how anyone can use Mailbox Power. You're so awesome. Thank you. Thank you for having me. And thank you, Mailbox Power, for being awesome. (laughs) I love it. I love it. So if you're watching this today and you want to be like Erica and me, and you want to join Mailbox Power and start using it for your business, just go to mailboxpower.com. You can find out everything you need to know there. Um, Again, we are, you know, literally helping business owners and people just to send cards, gifts, postcards to do it so that it is, you know, has like Erica said, that personal touch with it, but also allows you to work smart and be a busy business owner and add that piece of marketing um, to your business. So thank you, Erica. Everyone have a great day. And again, thanks for joining us today. Bye-bye. Bye.